Good morning, Michigan. Back at you with another G Brothers review. I'm Nico, little bro. That's Stefanos. Big bro. And we got a special guest today. Before I tell you what we're reviewing, we got Brian, one of my old school friends here. How you doing, Brian? What's going on? He's going to be our back seat reviewer. Our first ever, first guest. Steph. First we never guest. had a guest before. It's the first time we did it because Brian knows about food, right, Brian? All right, cool. Definitely. Definitely. So today, you guys, we are going to be reviewing Clover Leaf Pizza. This is a staple in Michigan, right? Like Clover Leaf. Yeah. It, it's been here for about seventy years. It's said it over seventy years. And stuff. You know, they always ask me all the time. People here in Michigan, right? People all over the world ask me, how much is a perfect pizza in Michigan? Do you know how much a perfect pizza in Michigan is? Cheese and pepperoni. No, how much a perfect oh. pizza is, right? You know what I tell them? Oh. It varies everywhere you go. Here at Clover Leaf. For a small pizza, again, this is an establishment place, right, guys? For a small pizza, you're going to pay $9.70. Four slices. Four slices. About We're located, slice. where are we at? We're off Grash. We're, We're on Grash. East Point. East Point Gr uh, Grash and East Point. Nine and a half in Grash. Nine and a half. Deep dish. Beautiful, Beautiful deep dish. So before we pop the top, I want to let you guys know the rules are the perfect pizza in Michigan. Perfect is cheese pepperoni. you got to have a little bit of that Michigan grease. Okay? So right now for clover leaves, we're going to get the top pop for you guys. Look at that. Let's get into that, boys. Look Ooh, that. Yeah. Look at that. Wait, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've heard great things about it. You're right. So we're going to start this off because we have our first guest here. Big Bro's going to go first. Brian, well, before we hit the camera there. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Hold on, Big Bro. Don't do anything yet. I'm not doing nothing. Oh, okay. Um, so we're going to go with Big Bro first. Big Bro, you take yourself a bite. Mmm. What are we thinking there, big bro? That's a good that's a good pizza right there, huh? Speechless. Oh, that's good. Bring me the box back, bro. Okay, one second here. Let me get my slice out of here, guys. I'll bring the box back. Here you go. Alright, now we got our guest reviewer here, our backseat reviewer, Brian. Let's hit it, Brian. What are we looking like? Oh, do you guys hear that crisp? Do you hear that? That cheese is trying to chase him home. You saw that cheese trying to chase him home? Is that cheese trying to attack you? Top grade ingredients. Top grade ingredients. All right, so real quick, guys, before I take my bite, I'm going to show you guys real quick. Look at the bottom. Okay. So I'll show it to him right now. So we got, that's the pizza right here. We got the old school pepperonis, right? Old school oh, yeah. cup, grease on the top. Well, underneath the undercarriage is well, well, well cooked, right? Well cooked undercarriage. So it looks crispy. beautiful. Very crispy. The sauce on the top really makes a difference. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna go in for my first bite here. Let's see, real guys, real quick. They've always done that since back mm. in the day. Mmm. Okay. All right. I'm really liking that cheese. Mm-hmm. The mm. first thing that stands out to me, guys, no joke, is the sauce. Uh huh. That tang, that sauce got tang like it's never had tang before. Like. This sauce, but a good tang. No, a hundred percent. Great tang. It's a great tang. I, I love the tang on this. Now let's go in for a crust piece real quick. Let's see how the crust is. Look at the char on the crust, guys. Look at the cheese chart on that crust. That's a perfect cheese chart. Again, this is a Detroit style pizza right here. When you guys hear reviewers talk about Detroit style, that's Detroit style. Char on the crust, undercarriage cooked, little greasy you know cup what? pepperonis. We um sauce on top. Hey, and you know what the cheese does? It chases you home like you stole money. Well, you from know what? It you just what, chases you home. You know, we've been to a bunch of places that disappointed us from back in the day. Mm -hmm. This, mm -hmm. for me, did not disappoint. Mm -mm. It's exactly the same way I remember from back when I was 20 years old. Okay. Okay, you guys I'm really know, glad the first place didn't work out because of the pandemic. So, if you guys. Um, so, we got to choose this place and it ended up working out. So, you guys know, actually, today we were going to do all pizza. Today we we're actually going to do Shores Inn in St. Clair Shores. Unfortunately, hey, big bro, get your face in the camera, please. Uh, unfortunately, Shores Inn is, Shores Inn is closed. I had no idea about that. It said permanently on the door. The tan place next door that let me walk through the building actually get to the back. We're like, we don't think they're going to be open. I was like, well, I'm going to go check anyways. So they were kind of weirded out by me going there. So anyways, hopefully Shores Inn, if you guys see this video, call us, contact us. Let us know what's going on because we really would like to review your pizza. So for the first time having a guest star, we're going to go first with B. B is going to give us our first review. Brian, what are you thinking? One to ten. I'm thinking I would definitely go out of my way for this pizza. Okay, real quick before you give your score, would you drive an hour? An hour? Yeah. 
If I didn't have any plans, probably. Two hours. That's pushing it. Okay. Just for the pizza? Just for the pizza. The environment there was great, guys. First of all, I wish they were open. I would have liked to go in there. It was amazing in there, the way the bar If was. If I lived two hours away and I wanted a really good pizza and I knew that I was going to get a good pizza when I came here, okay. which I do. Okay. I think two hours would be the mid the maximum. maximum. So what are you thinking on the pizza? One to ten. Give I us your score. It's like a nine. Nine? Wow. I'm thinking it's a nine. So nine Everything is your thing is perfect. The cheese meets the, the, the sauce and the crust is just wow. perfection. And it's just it's amazing. Wow. So that's probably the highest score we ever had for a pizza on this review. Um, that's a rookie score to me. A nine is a rookie score to me. I don't ever do just solid numbers, but a step, Big Bro does, and other people do, so I'm not saying anything about it. Um, a nine. That You heard it here from our first backseat reviewer, Cloverleaf on Grashit. Nine. 9.0. Nine okay. Bro, we're going to have you go first this time. No, you can go. All right. Big, I, big Bro's always supposed to go first. I always go. So I'm going to tell you right now, I like tangy pizza. I like... I like tangy sauce. I'm not a sweet sauce guy. So the sauce for me is perfect where it's supposed to be, okay? Cheese was ooey gooey, chasing you home. It had a little bit of Michigan grease, but not too much to where you were overwhelmed. And I love the- What about the sauce on top of the pizza? I love, again, the sauce is tangy. I don't care where they put that sauce. The sauce was tangy. It was amazing. Now, I love how the cheese chased you home. Look at that crunch. Can you guys hear that crunch? That backseat reviewers do right now? Oh, the sure crunch is all over the goddamn pizza. Yeah, it's but amazing. it's fluffy and airy. I'm right now going to give this the highest score I've ever gave a pizza since we done. And I know this is going to be shocking. I'm giving this an 8-7. Eight, 8-7 seven. Eight, seven wow, all day. 8-7 all day. What'd you say, big bro? I want to, I want to, that's the area that I was in. But I'll, the area that I was in. But I'll give it an 8-6. Eight, 8-6. Six. Eight, six. I like the sauce, the bottom of the pizza, that, that crunchiness. It's so amazing, but there's still dough. That's a nice deep dish pizza. The char, the cheese, that's amazing. Those, this has got old school pepperonis on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're known for. Yeah, they are. I'm not disappointed because they, this is the same exact pizza I remember when I was 20 years old. When we were kids. It's yeah. the same pizza. It's, it's they same haven't changed. changed. Never yeah, changed. So, I'm so glad they did it. I didn't want to get disappointed like I did with Buddies. Cloverleaf. And Buscemi's. Whatever you guys did not to change, yeah. and you know, Buscemi's did, uh, Buddies. Uh, Buddies changed. Whatever you guys did, you guys did a great job. Yeah. This pizza is still what I remember as being a kid. Yeah. I wish they sold slices. If you guys watch this video, sell slices. Yeah. So that's a review, guys, for Cloverleaf on Grashit. Real quick, Steph, you know people ask me all the time, what's the three most important things in life? I always tell them the same thing, but they ask constantly on the internet, on Facebook, on Twitter. It doesn't matter where it's at. Okay. I always tell them the main three things. Okay. Your faith. Your family. Food. See you guys in the next one. <laughs> what happened to that boy? What happened to that boy? What happened to that boy? He was talking. If I say that, are you going to keep doing that? No, but then Brian's supposed to go, he was talking, so he got to clap it to that boy. We should, that should be our thumbnail we open up to. What? Yeah. What happened to that boy? No, because you're going to keep fucking doing it. <laughs> Keep doing it. No, you go, the third time, then Brian goes, "You got to Will you go? What happened to that boy? Shit, we put a clap what happened to, to that, that boy? boy. Seems, all right, ready? No, so, we're not gonna do that, Nico. <laughs> what happened to that boy? <laughs> what happened to that boy? <laughs> no, you gotta say it one more time. What happened to that boy? Keep on talking. She will put a clap to that boy. Oh, that's a thumbnail yeah, right there. Yeah. That's our thumbnail. If you... Ready, Steph? Your face is nowhere in the camera. Don't oh, call nowhere in the Steph. camera. Good morning, Michigan. Back at you with another G Brother review. I'm Nico Little Bro. That's Steph. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why are you fucking with me, dude? I'm not, Steph, but I've always called you Steph in every yeah, review, I don't bro. want people to fucking think my name is Steph. No, I say Stefanos because other times you. This is okay. Big Bro Stefanos. All right, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I want to tell you guys the three... Steph, people always ask me, what's the three most important things in life? Do you know what I always tell them? I don't know because nobody ever asks me. Well, they ask me all the time. Okay. I always tell them food. Family? No, I'm sorry. We did that. Right. Let's redo it real quick. Steph, you know what they always ask me all the time? What's the three mm -hmm. most important things? I'm going to say 
faith, you're gonna say family, and Brian's gonna say food, okay? All right, let's go. Steph, you know people ask me all the time, or that's a review, sorry. That's a review, guys, for Cloverleaf on Grashit. Real quick, Steph, you know people ask me all the time, what's the three most...